Hello, and welcome to Rainy Day Tony Tries. It's a rainy day outside today. It's not the most amazing thing in the entire world, but here I am trying these cactus pears. I, I'm very careful when touching these because when I bought these, I got these from Cantoro's um, Italian Market. They only had a couple left, and I was like, I have to try them, but as in the name, they're cactus pears. So they're very prickly, very prickly, and... Uh, yeah, uh, they hurt. They they leave little things. From yesterday, I um, <laughs> I, I saw I had little things. I'm like, what the heck are the? Oh, the cactus pears really are like ca cactus like. So, so yeah, they're really interesting. Um, I have a little video of them up close that I will play right now. And uh, they are they are kind of interesting looking. They are fruit like, but it's like you can see the little like dotty things that they uh. That they are uh, a little cactusy, cactusy type thingies. So uh, I guess let's let's cut into it. I'm not gonna cut in it, into it in the bowl. I did wash these. I did wash them. So I guess um, I don't even know how to approach. I don't know how to approach this. Something like this. I guess just in half first. I don't want to touch the. The little uh, prickly parts because I don't want any more thing little prickly things on me. Ooh, ooh, the skin's kind of tough. Ooh, I don't know if you can let me get you that. It's interesting. It looks kind of. It smells like a melon more than a than a pear. It has like this. It's very juicy. I guess let me cut it in half again. Ooh. It's kind of, it's not easy to cut through, but it's not too particularly difficult. The skin's not too bad. Just this little something part is kind of a bit harder. Let me put that, that right there. That looks kind of, kind of cool. Um, looks like there's a lot of seeds in here. Like more than a water, it's like density of seed is very high. Very high. This, it isn't, does it have a smell? Is there any? It kind of smells like watermelon rind. Like, I don't know if you know, like after you like eat a watermelon and then you, like if you have ever smelled, but not like smelled the rind, but that kind of like, where you don't get like the sweet melony smell where you kind of get like the after a little bit of the rind. That's, that's kind of what it smells like. I'm gonna cut this other part in half too. So there's a lot to try because I love me some fruit. Love trying me some new fruits, except for papaya. Papaya is not very good. Kind of tastes like burnt dog food. Or at least that's how it tasted to me. All right, well, that's one cut up. I think we can just hop right into a little bit of try, a little bit of try, try. Tony, try a little bit. Let's do it. Hmm. It's it's very sweet, but there are there are so many seeds. Like it's just it's hard to get to the fruit of it because it's it's so it's so seedy. I really hope I don't get any of those little pricklies on my lip. That would suck. We really suck. It's hard to eat. Because the fruit itself just turns to mush. Like, not bad. Like, not like, ugh, it's just kind of mushy bad. Like, not mushy banana or anything. It's like, it just kind of turns to juice. And the juice is really tasty. But to get that fruit to become, like, more juice-like, you feel, ugh, <laughs> chokes a little bit. You have to get through the seeds. And the seeds are so pro. I need a paper towel to spit these out in or something because it's so, it's so key. Free key. Okay, now that I'm back from the seed spitting, the spittoon, the slippery spittoon, the cactus pear spittoon.
Welcome to the Cactus Pear Spittoon. I hope you had a fun time joining us. This episode's not over. It's just part of the bit. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is, it is good. I want another bite, but I also don't want to get rid like, it's, it's hard. Maybe if I like squeeze it and get some of the juice skis. Mm. Yeah, like I got a little juice and like that's, it's sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's like, imagine a watermelon minus kind of like too much of like the water part of it. It's more just like concentrated watermelon juice. Concentrated watermelon juice. So like it's really good. I like it a lot. It's just that I don't want to have to get through the seeds. Like even just this little bit. And there's already like three or four seeds in just that little bit. So I mean, without the one that I bit into. That's kind of what, I don't know if you can see all those seeds in there or not. So, it's really good. I like it a lot. It, it's like it, like it seeds everywhere. It's very good. It is very good. I would eat this in, in a way if I could get less seedage. A little less seedage. I get it. Cactus plants probably want to spread the seeds all over the place to grow more cacti or whatever this comes from. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if this comes from cactuses or if this comes from something else. That is something I will look up and I will have that pop up right now if it is part of cactus or if it is not part of cactus. So that is really good. I mean, I would eat it again. I really, really would eat it again. If this was, if I had like a cactus pear flavored tart or like if it was like a, let's say you had mm, 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 like blueberries and blackberries in a tart with a cream that has flavored with cactus pear juice. That sounds really good. And I think I would do that. I would do that. I'm honestly about ready to wrap up this video. Um, there's not much for me left to say besides like the pear, don't like the seeds. That detracts a little bit, seven out of 10. If without the seeds, I would probably give this an eight uh, or like at least a nine out of 10 because the flavor of itself is really good. So yeah, a little bit of a shorter episode this time. And I don't know if you guys like that or not, but thank you so much for joining me on my cactus pear adventure. Let's hope my fingers do not get pricked any more than they do. And uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Maybe a little bit seedy, but what's life without a little bit of, bit of seeds in your teeth? I don't know. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Future Anthony here, and this is how we actually eat this cactus pear. You crush up the pulp into like a syrupy type juice. It actually is really good this way. Um, <laughs> I really liked it, but this is how you actually are supposed to eat this. The seeds, it, you're not supposed to eat it that way, or touch it. Looking it up, realized I did, did it really, really wrong, and here I am drinking it. You can see it's a kind of a syrupy type thing, and yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this little extra bit, and I'll see you next time.